All right, welcome everybody. It's been a while since I did another Hermetic principle video. Today is going to be the third principle of Hermetics, which is the principle of vibration. Nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates. So, how does that apply to your life? Why is it important? So, let's start off with understanding vibration. So, if you've ever seen a tuning fork, Let's say we have two tuning forks and they're tuned to 432 hertz. Okay, both of them. If you take this one here and let's say you strike it with a hammer and you get vibrating, the sound waves that come off of this one will cause this one to start resonating and vibrating even though you didn't strike that one. Now, why is that important? So there is a thing called, actually I drew that upside down. This is the Hawkins scale of consciousness. Okay, this is divided up. Basically what this is, is it's a pyramid that represents different emotions. Emotions are a vibration. So if we take this guy here and we just draw it like this. Down here would be things like guilt, shame, anger. Then at the top of the scale are things like enlightenment, peace, joy, love, okay? Here's what happens. If this tuning fork, let's say, instead of it being 432 like this one, let's say this one's 528, and you strike this tuning fork over here, this one won't vibrate. Or if it does, it'll vibrate a little bit for a minute because the waves cross each other. So obviously a wave is sound wave. If this was 432, then the 528 fork would be something like this. When those cross over, at certain points they're going to link up, but, but most of the time not. So here's what happens. Let's say you're a person that has a positive attitude you know you're funny you're peaceful you know you're in a, a state of of bliss and this isn't happy-go-lucky like just picture a day that you know everything went nice you went for a walk with your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend or your kids you know sun's out you went swimming everything was happy you were smiling a lot all that kind of stuff it's gonna put you up in these top ones okay so here's what happens and by the way this is by design so Here's society, okay? And you go to the education system. May or may not go to college, maybe a tech school. Everything that you see on TV, the majority of the shows, you know, your work environment, all these kinds of things, they're generally very uncomfortable. Most people do not like their job. Number two, most of the time, people are rude to each other. The majority of the population lives more in what they call fear or scarcity or a lack mindset, which is a survival mode. You're either in fight or flight or you're not. When you live in the fight or flight, that puts you in these low ones. Being in these low vibration emotions, so we'll just draw two new forks and we'll call these low. When you're putting out those vibes and it's why people say, hey man, did you get a good vibe from that person? Or man, the energy at that concert was awesome, stuff like that. Well, that's because that's how it is. Like attracts like. If you take a five gallon bucket of water 
and you dump a quart of oil in it, they don't mix. You take a bucket of oil and you dump a quart of oil in it, it mixes right up. Like attracts like. It's the same with chemicals and liquids as it is with music. That's why everybody tunes their instrument to be at the same frequency so that they all vibrate together and create a resonance. When things vibrate at the same frequency, they're considered to be in resonance. So what happens is you've been taught to live in anger, shame, and guilt, fear. Don't watch the news. Trust me. The stuff that's going on in the news, unless it's literally happened outside your door, don't watch it. It's not doing anything but filling your mind full of stuff that is harmful to your environment and your life. So if you're in these low vibrations, guess what? You're going to attract all these other people, places, and things that are all low vibration. So you might end up with a job where you hate your boss. You're going to attract a partner who's angry all the time or mad or fearful. Don't do that. What if this happened? What if that happened? You know, the naysayers, the tire kickers. So here's the thing. You want to get into the top vibrations, and you can do a Google search and find this Hawkins Scale of Consciousness Pyramid. Basically, each emotion and I don't know what they are. You can look them up. Let's say this one's like 100 hertz and this one's like 300. And then you get up here, I think uh, peace and enlightenment's like 800. The higher you go up in the scale and you get into peace, joy, love, and enlightenment, you are going to attract more peace, love, and joy. Well, what are the things that give you peace, joy, and love? Wealth, health, and relationships. So when you have reprogrammed your mind to be in these states, your life will reflect back to you and bring into your experience things that vibrate at the same frequency, which are going to be other people that are peace, joy, and love oriented. So if you're in, let's say, a state of love and joy and peace, then the job opportunities that you're going to see and that are going to come into your life they're going to be things that reinforce that. So let's say, you know, you put your resume out there. Once you've reprogrammed yourself into these higher states of consciousness, then the only jobs that you'll get and the majority of the jobs that come into your awareness, let's say if you're you know, browsing through Indeed or something like that or ZipRecruiter, you'll get the higher ones. Those will be the people that call you. Now, how do you change that? That becomes the question. Now, realize that belief whatever you believe, you receive. If you believe that your life's always going to be hard, guess what? It's always going to be hard. If you believe that everybody's going to steal from you, people will steal from you. This is how it is. What most people don't realize is that beliefs can change. And not only can they change, you can change them to whatever you want them to be. So look, what's that mean? That means if, you, let's say you take somebody that's an atheist. Well, I don't know if I'm going to spell this right, but whatever. And they believe that there's nothing out there. The universe will reflect back to them. Their belief is there's nothing. They will get proof of that shown back to them. This is how it works. Here's you. And we'll put a Y for you. Here is the entire bubble of reality around you. Which, by the way, you influence. It's called the observer effect. You affect the field. You watching anything in life, you influence it. They call it the sphere of influence. Okay, here's you. So inside of you, there's this network of different nerves, wiring, your nervous system, your brain. Okay, 
whatever that's tuned to, let's say it's tuned to you know, 20,142 hertz or whatever it is, this frequency is then broadcast out to the field, the quantum field, the zero point, the ether, dark matter, whatever you want to call it. This is basically like a giant mirror. It reflects back to you whatever your beliefs are. Because in order for everything to be in harmony, the outer world and the inner world have to match. So either the outer world happens to you, let's say you're in a situation where things are bad. And this is very important for twin flames because the twin flame journey is way bigger than just a relationship. These bad things, you're reacting to the bad sphere around you because you may be unaware of it, but your subconscious mind, which is 100% in record mode until you're seven years old. And by the way, repetition is one of the keys to reprogramming the subconscious mind. Look at the amount of repetition you see of negative stuff on television or the news, arguments and sitcoms, drama, violence, video games, all that kind of stuff. Puts this stuff in your subconscious mind. You know, when you're walking down the road, you don't have to think how to walk, but how you walk is how you train yourself to walk over a long period of time. So what you want to do is these, the outer and the inner worlds will always match. If they're not matching, either you have to change or it has to change. And this is where miracles, or if you're a scientific person, what people call synchronicities. You decide to change your mindset and reprogram the wiring. So now let's say we're gonna jump it up. You've rewired it, now you're this new frequency. And the frequency doesn't matter, just consider the frequency this is a radio station. Your mind, your nervous system, you're a giant conduit. All you do, people think that your consciousness is inside your body, it's not. What you are is, if I took a projector and I projected it onto a theater screen. That theater screen, until it hits that, you can't see it in the air, it doesn't exist. That's how the human consciousness is. It's out there, it's everywhere in the field at all times. God or the all or the infinite spirit or the great spirit or the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to call it. I like the Native Americans call it the great spirit. I associate a lot with my Native American heritage. They were all in balance. Till the white people came in, obliterated everybody, and also, by the way, they were forbidden to talk about their religion, which is kind of funny, until I believe 1984, no, it might be 1979. And then somewhere in the 90s, it was actually put into law. But Native Americans do not believe that we originated from this planet were ancestors of off-planet extraterrestrials. Most people don't think of that when they think of Native Americans, but check it out. All right, so you change your mindset. You can do this a bunch of different ways. It's what I do on my channel is I teach people how to do different stuff. I used certain technology to make it faster when I wanted to change my situation, what was going on, which is why I started this channel. So, you know, you can do hypnosis, hip you know you can do mantras you can do meditations I'm not going to cover them all because I'm sure this video is long already lots of different things you can do here so when you change this so now let's say we'll represent this different with a triangle now this is a triangle you're putting out whole new waves because you've reprogrammed the part of your mind that is influencing the reality now that you're in this new wave, this new vibe, reality around you will shift. The outer world has to match the inner world. So if you hold to your inner beliefs, it's why you hear people that are extremely spiritual or religious say they're believers. You only believe, you only receive what you believe. And you only get whatever you believe you're worthy of getting. So you have to get rid of guilt and shame and all those things. You know, at the end of the day, if you're on your deathbed, how do you want to feel? 
do you, do you want to regret that you didn't do X, Y, and Z? Or do you want to just go, you know what, I did everything I want to do. I had a great time. It is what it is. I'm checking out of here. I did it my way, right? Once you change this, reality around you has to change. So when these, let's say, you have all these awful things that are happening, now you got this new positive mindset. That's why people talk about being positive. It's more than just being positive. Anyway, this will start to shift, and it can shift very quickly. And when reality starts to shift, that's when you get miracles. That's what the Bible refers to as miracles or synchronicities if you're a science person. I'm going to call them synchros. That's the principle of vibration. Okay? One last thing I want to cover. Because I researched all this stuff. I, I drowned when I was two years old. And I remember being out of my body over at the garage at our house on the farm that we grew up on. My parents were swimmers, so they built a big pool behind the house and I fell in and drowned. So I did all this research on everything. All right, so here's how it is. Let's kind of make it a disc here. This is reality, okay? And there's different waves. Think of this as I threw a stone in a pond. You know, you got a little bloop of water and then the wave spreads out from that. What they teach you in school, and I have a Bachelor in Science, a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry from Denison University, class 96. I took three quarters of quantum mechanics. Everything pretty much that they teach you, at least back then, I don't know what they're doing now, but my, my kids are in, one of them's in high school. They teach you that there is a nucleus, this has a proton, you can have a neutron, and then you got these electrons that are way out, kind of bouncing around. So at the end of the day, basically you have this kind of orbital with a nucleus here, and then you have your electrons that are going around the outside, okay? Quantum mechanics, not true. It shows it's not true. So this wave is like this. It's every possibility overlapping itself. This thing only collapses into a particle when you, the observer, look at it. In other words, here's something pretty wild. The old saying, if a tree fell in the forest, and nobody was there to hear it, would it make a sound? No. But here's the thing. If nobody's in the forest to watch the tree fall, there's no tree. No tree. The field collapses because of human presence. If every human being on this planet died, there would be no planet. It would just disappear from existence. We're literally holding the 3D field to keep matter in check. Otherwise, it just goes into infinite possibilities. It's way out there in physics. Most people are going to go, well, I don't get it. Doesn't really matter if you get it or not. I'm just showing you the principles so you can understand. So basically, you're collapsing the field to generate different possibilities. And those di different possibilities are that sphere that's around you. And what you want is you want your sphere of influence To be what you want. So, last thing, and then I'm going to cut this baby off. Think of it like this. Here's you living your day, okay? And let's say you put a GoPro on your head. Because number one, it would be funny. <laughs> you know, you go to school, everybody would be like, why are you wearing a GoPro? Think of it like this. That's great. This is a great thought experiment. Okay, and you go through your day, your whole day. You get up, let's say you go to school, you get up, you go to work, whatever you do. Then the weekend comes, and you plug your GoPro into your television. And you watch on your TV your life recording. Okay. While you're watching that, if there's anything that's uncomfortable, anything that you don't like, anything that makes you go, ooh, did I do that? Did I say that? Why'd that happen? Oh, I remember when that made me feel awful. Remember, if you record everything, your reality around you is reflecting back. 
beliefs that you have inside yourself. So if there's parts of your movie that you don't like, then you have stuff in your subconscious mind or maybe your conscious mind that you don't like and you don't want. So reality only reflects back to you whatever your programming, whatever your frequency, however your nervous system is, is wired. One of the things that was really cool, there was a scientist and they had a little girl that had a heart transplant. And after she had this heart transplant, she started having dreams about the person who died that gave her the heart. And this girl was murdered. And the dreams that this lady was having, she was having these dreams because since she contained the DNA, and DNA, by the way, is an antenna, just like a car antenna. Your soul is everywhere. It's uh, omnipotent. It can be in all places at all times. You only have a focal point inside your body because you're here kicking it, having an experience. Most people's experiences suck. I hope this channel helps people to create experiences they want because you know what? Everybody that's watching this video deserves, because they're a human being, respect and happiness and love. Because we're all equal here. And this, the way the system is right now just is disgusting because all it does is push people down. This stuff that I'm teaching should be taught in school. The whole world should know this because this is how you get the life you want. And if it's that important and it's not taught in school, and by the way, this is taught in every occult school, Emerald Tablets of Thought, all the Hermetic Principles, all the stuff that I'm teaching you, it's the greatest revelation of all time, so why isn't it being taught in school? Well, because the system doesn't work well if everyone's free. They want everybody enslaved, working a job that they don't want, barely making it paycheck to paycheck. You know, they spend 23 billion, no, $23 trillion a year on unacknowledged black projects. $23 trillion. It's a quarter of the spending budget on whatever. You know that's $67,000 per American? If they stopped doing that, they could give every American $67,000. Think about that. So I'm teaching you how to get free. So what happened was this girl started going to bed. She had this other lady's heart. The soul's getting picked up because that heart's still alive. She calls the doctor. She was a young girl. Her parents call the doctor. They talk to the doctor. Doctor's concerned. He finds out the lady was murdered. That donated the heart. They got a hold of the police. The police came over and started taking notes from these girls' dream. This girl's dreams. Well, they ended up finding the guy that killed the girl that donated the heart. Now that's impossible with the way they teach in school. But when you understand that you're, you're an avatar, you are a frequency, my name's Colburn. So I have a Colburn antenna and my personality, my personal reality is determined by what frequency I live in. Reality, it looks like this, okay? And it's like a ball with a bunch of cactus needles coming off of it, okay? Each one of these is a possible different life that you could have. It's multi-dimensional all at the same time. So you can move around and create a different life for yourself. So you're just an antenna. This girl picked it up. They caught it. All the religions, the Bible. If you really get down to it and you realize that you're a conduit for spirit, there's one spirit, and you're just an expression of that. Here's the sun, here's a magnifying glass. Let's say this magnifying glass is blue. And guess what? The sun, we just consider this God or the great spirit. It's everything. Everything is the whole reality, the electromagnetic spectrum, everything is just energy. You're this consciousness and it filters only a little portion of that and whatever you focus your life on and your mindset on, that's your reality or life. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to do another video on Hermetic Principle for tomorrow. I'm also going to start putting, before I forget, be sure to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification icon. Looks like a bell. That way, every time I do another video, you'll get notified on your phone. And you can follow this because once you have the mindset stuff, then the world is your oyster. It's whatever you want to do. 
if you want to use the uh, if you want to use the software and the technology I did, I will leave a link underneath this video if you want to buy it. That's it for today. Uh, my name's Cole. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. Take care and live your best life. Bye.